got my snowshoes on today and so it's giving me a chance to walk around at the house and see what's happening. And I can see a lot of animal footprints, but I don't know who they belong to yet. And I can also see this part of the land, the shape of it and how much it dips. The biggest dip is uh, where the trickling water was from last, last time we looked. And that big um, triangular lump in the snow, that's our well. It's like a gigantuan swimming pool in there. It's huge, huge, and tons of water. So obviously, the space here is uh, well fed with water. Hmm, maybe a rice paddy. But it's just a beautiful day. And uh, it's nice to be able to tromp around in this very deep snow. There is a huge dip here. That's the nice thing about winter is you can really see the shapes. It looked so flat in the fall relatively speaking. In here, in the in this thicket, there are all kinds of pheasants that live there. And I just startled one, poor thing. So I wonder and if they're bothering the pheasant too. Our driveway is really long. There's our car parked up towards the top of it. And it has come around the other side of the house, but we're thinking of having um, an entrance way here, which I think would be kind of nice. Maybe an add another window there for a bit of light. Uh, the F stands for furnace and the S for stove. So the F is where the oil goes in and the S is where the kerosene goes in for the heaters that aren't there anymore. This will change and we'll have the oil in the basement. There are a few apple trees out here and they're so tasty too considering um, you know, that they haven't really been done much with for many years. We made uh, lots of apple cider from them. We have some wonderful old uh, maple trees in the driveway. And look, there's lots of little birds up there. I want them to fly away so you can see that. But I guess they have their own agenda. <laughs> <laughs>